I wanted to ask you about humor, um, something that I think I just, I don't think I'd be able to function without. Yeah. What is humor to you? Your husband's a comedy writer. Mm -hmm. How do you use it in your parenting? That's a great uh, question. And I, uh, the, I find that if, especially now in these insane times, it's like you have to, of course this sounds trite, but you have to laugh. And I feel so lucky to have been able to work in comedy. And yes, my husband is a comedy writer, but we also just happen to have the same sense of humor. So. It's so nice to be able to, in a, in a situation where you can have, you have two choices, you can lose your mind or you can choose to laugh about it. It's just so nice to choose that uh, option B. <laughs> you can laugh, you know? <laughs> the, one, the, my five-year-old is doing the thing that's is making me laugh the most, it's, it, which is hyperbole, which is, I'm never doing this again. I'm never speaking to his little brother again. <laughs> Sometimes if he like <laughs> falls or trips or something, he'll blame the object he tripped on. So he'll be like, I am never walking on the floor again. And I'm like, well, you have to. But anyway, it's funny, but you can't, it's hard not to laugh in that moment. And, you know, um, one of the great uh, comedic institutions, Saturday Night Live, um, was something that you were considering, um, <laughs> but there was like a, an impasse and then it actually might be the impasse that launched your career? I auditioned for Saturday Night Live. I did not get, oh, oh you know, they don't call you if you don't get the part. They just- What are they, a guy? guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They, they ghost <laughs> they, too? They ghost you. They ghost you. If you don't get on, they ghost you. So I never heard back specifically, but after like a month or two or like a year, I was like, I don't think I got on the show. <laughs> Because you know when when just like everything in life, it feels like okay, well, one opportunity didn't lead to this, but on the other hand, then I got to meet you know through various one thing leads to another, and I got to meet the creators of The Office, and the, sort of that if I had gotten a part on Saturday Night Live, then maybe it wouldn't have led to The Office. So everything I don't know if everything happens for a reason, probably not, but everything happens. So and you've worked so consistently since then. I mean, oh. you have these you know iconic characters, you know, The Office and. Kimmy Schmidt, and on and on and on, and Bridesmaids, oh my God. I mean, I, well, Bridesmaids, that's, yeah. But those ladies are insane. I feel like I would give something insane for a Bridesmaid too. I know, I, I, I would too.